Hey there, it's Nathalie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Today, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do a bullion stitch and then we'll make a bullion rose. It's a little bit more complicated than some of the other stitches, but it's still pretty easy to do. This stitch is called a bullion. I've got a nice knot. I'm going to move it to the side a little bit with my finger just to get started. And then I'm going to come in at the top, bring my needle right where I started, and don't stitch all the way through. Now I'm going to turn this so I can get a hold of this to do my wraps. Okay, so I'm going to do five wraps on this needle. Make sure I'm still in there where you can see. One, two, not too tight, three, four, five. And then I'm going to hold on to this. You're not going to be able to see it too good, but there it is. And I'm going to hold on to it. My finger is underneath. There. And I'm holding on to that stitch and I'm going to pull that needle through those wraps. Like that. There they are. Get all my threads up here. Then tighten that thread down. There's all the little wraps like that. And that's about the same length as what my mark is. I'm going to do it one more time with that length. So I'm going to go right back into where I, there, the bottom, or the side, however you want to look at that. I'm thinking about the bottom because I've got the lettering up here. <clears throat> the top of the mark. Bring your needle back to where that stitch comes out. Don't push your needle all the way through. And again, I'm going to turn it. You figure out where the best way for you to hold this is. One, and it doesn't matter whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise. One, two, three, four. And I still have four wraps on there. And this is going to be five. Do I have five wraps on there? Let's count. One, Let's see. Let's rewrap just to make sure. Okay. Push that up a little bit so that I can get that tipped up. One, two, three, four, five. You get off. There we go. And just, just firm, not too tight because then the needle won't pull through. And I feel I've got a little knot thing there. There you go. And there it is. Pull that on down. Tighten that up. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do one that was five. We're going to do one with eight. So it'll have a little bit of a curl to it. Okay, I'm going to tip that needle so I can get a hold of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kind of scooch that down. And then I'm going to hold on to it like that. And so this one makes a little bit of a curl, so it's a little bit longer than my space right here. The next one is going to be 13. And we're going to use that for our rows that I'm going to show you later. And then however you need to hold your needle so that you can get those thread wraps on there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13. Get those kind of scooched down on the needle and hold on to it. Not too tight again. And so that makes a nice little curl so when we get ready to do a rose petal that'll make a nice little rose petal. We do that one more time. It's the last one. And my this is a little loose, so let me tighten up my fabric a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And that's down towards the bottom of that stitch. And I'm ready to tie off. And that's a bullion stitch. Let's do a little bullion rose. And so I've got this upside down. I'm going to turn this. I'm going to do a short one first. And it's, you know, it's like basically like a back stitch. We're going to go in here. Don't pay any attention to the blue lines. They're just kind of a little bit of a guide to go by a little bit. So don't pull that all the way through. We're going to just do like maybe four wraps on this. So let me pick this up. One, two, three, four. I'm going to hold on to that and pull that needle through. Let me go like this. Get here. I'm going to turn this around so I've got my fingers back here and my thumb. This will be easier. Pull that needle through. There it is. Tighten that up. And right back down into that same hole. We're going to do one right beside it. So this is our first stitch, and then we'll back, and let's do four more wraps. One, one, two, one, two, there's three. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. There we are. Now I'm going to turn this around so I can hold it right. There we see them. If it's easier, you can take this out of the hoop if you need to. Pull that over, tighten that up. So that gives us our little middle. And then I want to come up on the side. And let's do 15. So I've got a hold of the needle. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Now let's just do eight, okay, instead of 15. Let's do eight on this one. 
So I'm going to flip this back around, make sure I'm still tight. It's a lot easier to do this when you're not on camera, I can tell you that. All right, kind of cinch that down a little bit. And so it makes a little curve right back down into that same spot that we came out of. And then I'm going to go to the top here. I'm fixing to have to get some more thread. Eight of them. One. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Turn it back where I've got a hold of it. There it is. And my needle just come unthreaded. Hang on. I went ahead and finished that one and tied off. And so now I'm going to start this last one. It's not the last one. It's the last of this of this color. Okay, 15. No, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll turn this where I can hold it again, again, again. I just felt all of those little wraps come. Tie this off and then we'll change colors. Okay, I'm out of the hoop. There it is. And I'm going to go in like halfway in that curve. There's the curve right there. And about halfway over here. Come right back up into there. All right, let's see how many things we're going to have to have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, probably should go to twelve, but I'm going to go ahead and stop with eleven, and if I need a little bigger, I can. Okay. Sorry for my fingers being in the way. There it is. Is that back down in where we started? So eleven looks about right. This one, instead of coming right beside, I'm going to come out just a little bit here. And then come in about halfway. 
on this one. It's about the same amount of wraps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, make sure that I'm on there good. Hold on to it, push that through. You can feel it coming through. There we go. And again, I'm sorry that it's just my hand that you can see. Here we go. And so the next one, and I'm just going to get, get started and then I'm going to go off camera. Uh, the next one, I'm going to go ahead and come in, just same thing, a little back here so you can see that's that's where the end is and then I'm coming back just a little bit and over into like that space right there all right I'm gonna go off camera finish this up and I'll be back so this gets our sweet little bullion rose Thank you so much for watching today. Be sure you, you know, give me the thumbs up. Also, if you want to get the pattern for this, you can go to myhallcloset.com and go to the free good stuff. And you'll have to subscribe to my email, but I don't send hardly any emails, maybe every now and then. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.